Good morning, guys. What is up? Happy 2021. We're back. It's a new year and I have a new camera, so I'm just getting used to all this. That's a little bit better. This past week, I have had probably one of the laziest weeks of my life. I haven't really done much besides watch a whole lot of YouTube. I knew that it was finally time to tackle something that has been on my to-do list for a really long time. I have lived in this apartment for five months now. So naturally, there's always going to be a couple spots. Yeah, they just don't make it. They never got properly organized. We are going to tackle this disorganization disaster in three of the messiest places in my apartment. As you guys can tell in my bedroom, I do not have a dresser. So this is why this closet has always been really hard for me to deal with because there's just, you know, a lot shoved into one place. I have tons of storage as you can see, but things are really packed. I can't even like move these hangers to get the stuff that I need out or I have a really hard time putting away stuff because it's just so jam packed. It it doesn't look bad initially, but what you can't see is that I have just shoved back piles and piles of things and I can't even really see what I have anymore. It's a mess. I also never get in these bins up here and these other bins have a bunch of sweatshirts up there that are not folded and it's an absolute disaster. We're gonna go to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you guys the next problem. I have a lot of stuff in my kitchen and this has always been one thing from the very beginning. The day I moved in, I knew I was gonna have this issue. I store all of my pots, pans, cutting boards, other things, you name it, in here and it is an absolute mess. Every single time I go to cook something, I have to dig through this pile. Things are falling, things are crashing. And then we've got the final place that we are going to tackle today. But underneath the sink, we have another disaster. It's like product mayhem to the point where I'm just like overwhelmed and confused. And again, I have to dig for stuff that I use on an everyday basis. At one point, a lot of these drawers were organized and now they are not anymore. Today's mission is also going to be to purge some of this stuff because there's just a lot happening and I don't even know anymore what's going on. So those are the things that we are going to tackle today on our organization journey. It's gonna be a really good time. We're gonna get through this together. We're gonna to organize some stuff. I'm really excited to go through and also just like see what clothes I have because I feel like I don't even get dressed or get ready or use the stuff that I know I love because I just can't see it. I'm gonna go through all of these hanging clothes and make a pile of things that I want to either take home to my house or I want to donate. I'm gonna um, turn on some music. I have this playlist called Upbeat Motivational Fives. And I think that's what we need right now. clothes in so long that some of these things I look at and I'm like okay like I wore that so much in college or high school but like would I wear this as like adult 23 year old me like I don't know but this was like one of my favorite shirts in college so the more you hold on to things like this, the more time that goes by and then the harder it is for you to actually donate them or take them to Buffalo Exchange and get good money because they actually will go completely out of style. Oh boy, this top was bought for like a New Year's celebration a long time ago. It is very small. I think I got it for like nine bucks though from Forever Train One. One day I'm gonna use this for like a costume or something. Honestly, I'm gonna put this in the costume bin. Oh boy, I have to get rid of this shirt, but like this shirt is so special to me because I wore this so much. I think it's kind of seen its day. It also has stains on it. So we're just gonna let that one dip. I don't know if I will ever wear this again. I did take some nice photos in LA in it. I don't need her in my life. Maybe I don't need two of like the same gray hoodie though. So I like the other one more. We're getting rid of it. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, and stuff's already falling out. That wasn't that bad. I'm gonna take all of the stuff that I threw on my bed and just fold it into some neat pile so it's ready to go. And then we're gonna tackle the other side. Whenever you feel 
feel like you need to go to the store and buy more hangers because you don't have enough, use it as a sign to just go through your closet. When I moved here, I literally moved straight from college. And I never went through my closet and stuff that I actually wanted and stuff that I didn't want. I've come up with some great solutions behind the store. But after I put these hangers away, I'm gonna give myself a little 15 minute break. Usually I find if I stop, cleaning and organizing in the middle of the project, I'm not gonna keep going. So make sure that your break is short and you're not watching some like long episode or something cause you'll literally never get off the couch. But if I follow the rules and just give myself like a little refuel break, then it helps me because I can already tell I'm getting hungry again. Okay, snack break and kitchen cleanup is done and I forgot that I got a text and a package arrived for me, actually three different ones. I think they're all the same order. They just arrived from different packages. So we're gonna go downstairs. That's one. Now we go round two. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh well. My amazing uncle got me an Amazon gift card for Christmas. I remember I placed an order, but I don't really remember what I got. Now I remember. <laughs> I'm gonna link this down below because I have a feeling a bunch of you guys are gonna want to order this and I'm probably gonna use it in this video. I got this embossing label maker. What's so cool about it is that it actually makes labels that have like a 3D texture to them and they have like a more of like a typography print so it looks like a typewriter. Really cool. Um, then that means the tape has got to be in here. Many different colors. We've got like silver, gold, black, white. That's gonna be really fun. I'm so so excited to try it out. It's only like $10 and probably the artsiest label maker you will ever find. Last package. Okay, this is also really cool. I thought this was gonna come late. I got like this camera case for the Canon M50, which is the camera that I'm filming on right now because I just wanted to protect it a little bit better, but I can actually just put the base of this camera on this guy and screw it in, which will be nice um, just cause like Vlog cameras get dented and scratched so easily and I wasn't really sure what sort of like case thing I want for it. So I have one other different case that I use for like traveling places, but this one's a little bit smaller and just covers the lens and the body of the camera. Cool, let's get back to work. Also, yes, I did just wash my hands for all of you COVID germaphobes like myself. It already looks way better. If you don't look up there, um, it looks amazing. The shoes are ready. I refolded all the pants, light to dark order. We got all the sweaters in this basket. I refolded everything in these baskets, these are all from the container store. And then inside I've got these little um, dividers from Ikea. So I'm gonna try to link everything down below if you guys are looking for things to organize your closet. I don't like these baskets really without the internal organizers as much. Like this just makes way more sense to me. I've got all my sports bras, swimsuits, pajamas in here. And then the last one, this was great cause this was kind of like my dumping basket before. And now it holds all of my pajamas so perfectly. I hung this cute little command hook here to hang my robe because I didn't like how it was so cluttered right here. I rehung all of my belts and a couple of my most used purses right on this belt hook from the container store. And then we got rid of a lot of pants because I wasn't really wearing a lot of these and also it's winter so I'm not even wearing these shorts but we condensed it, brought these to the front, put all of my dresses in the way back because am I really wearing dresses right now? No. So now I can access all of my jackets way easier. They're all right here. Back here you can't see but I actually have my laundry bin. I put all of my hats in here so that's super organized and now I have these two drawers which are literally just full of shoes this has all of my heels and you know I really can't think of another time I'm gonna wear heels but I still need them and then I've got my snow boots in here which I do use if I can free up these two drawers I can put other clothes in here so right now I have some of my soft folded shorts so these could go in a drawer and then I also have some sweatpants that I grab all the time and those could also go in a drawer and now I'm going to tackle the top of the closet now I forget what is even in this bin this one has like all of my extra linens as you can tell we have quite the situation with the sweatshirts maybe these two are both costume bins and then the top one is just extra t-shirts I actually tried this the other day because I need more more space for sweatshirts. So I'm gonna take all of 
these three and put them underneath my bed because I have a ton of space down here and they fit perfectly. Then I actually rebought some of the great bins that I love from Target. They look too big, like I'm pretty sure they are the wrong size. They're like the large version and I'm pretty sure I have the medium version in here. I'm fully prepared for them not to fit. The angle has to be right to like get them on the shelf. That's really annoying because I would love to have the same bins all the way across. These are gonna go under my bed and that's gonna be amazing. I have all these sweatshirts on the ground here. Okay, you guys are all going up here. Welcome. Boom. One day I'm gonna go through these costume bins, but that day is not gonna be today. Here are the bins. They look great. They match my bedding in a weird way. I'm excited that worked out. Oh boy. This one's gonna be about See, they don't fit. Oh, that's such a bummer. I spent so long on the internet trying to find the perfect dimensions, like exactly fitting. And of course I'm like, I already have these, so I'm just gonna buy them instead of measuring them because I didn't realize there was two sizes. I doubt they're gonna have them in stock anywhere. <sighs> Let me figure that out. Also you guys, your battery's flashing, so I'm gonna come back to you when I have these problems resolved. I'm going to refold all of the sweatshirts and things that I have here, get rid of anything that I don't want, and then we will reevaluate. I'm trying to decide if I wanna start the other projects before I go to Target because if I need something else, then I'm already there. All right, I've decided that we are going to tackle the under sink area before we hit up Target because I have a feeling this one is gonna be tricky. So last night, I went on a little spree. There are two lid organizers, but I figured that I could use maybe one for lids and one for different cutting boards. I felt like I wasn't utilizing the height of my storage available. Now looking at it, like there's a lot of stuff under my sink in the middle. I did get this nice kitchen cabinet organizer shelf. So I'll probably undo one of these and see if this is gonna help me be able to like stack stuff better so that when I pull out one thing, I don't have to to like cause a whole avalanche of pots to come out at me. Step one is just literally going to be to empty out everything in here. Now that I can see absolutely everything that we have in here, it's kind of a lot. I'm just gonna start piece by piece. We're gonna see kind of what works in here. because this is a little bit like Tetris. It's really hard to figure out how things are gonna work. So I'm gonna open up one of these shelves and it very well may not work. It's just hard to think of like what's practical and what's gonna look good, but what's gonna make sense. I guess there's assembly required. Yeah, we're getting the drill for this because it wants me to hand screw them in and I just know that never goes as well as you want it to go. Let's hope the bright bit is in. This might work. It. We're gonna be chill about this. And the last one. We have a shelf. So this may or may not be a little bit of an organizational fail. I really like how these things are all stacked up and now they can't fall over. The lids fit great back there. However, I still have to like reach back and get them. Like it's not the most functional. Of course, I still have like all the pots stacked on top of each other. So, I mean, I still kind of have to dig for it, but that might just be how it is. At least it looks way less of a disaster than it did before. These are all gonna be relocated to my little laundry room area where I keep extra bags and yeah, there was just no need for there to be anything excess down here because it was just too much. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. Well, at least that part went well. It does look better, definitely. It's not perfect, and I don't know if it'll ever be perfect. I'd hate to drill into these cabinets, so it just kind of is what it is. At least I can open my cabinet now, and I feel less overwhelmed. It's currently 5.30. I am honestly 
pretty hungry, but pretty impressed with how much we got done today. The closet's completely done as long as I get the new bins. All we have left to do today is the bathroom. It's 5.30, I'm probably gonna chill for like an hour or two and cook myself dinner because I have some food that I really need to eat up. So I will return chatting with you guys soon. All right, I'm kind of tired and it's like almost 10 o'clock, but <laughs> I really want to finish organizing our last thing for today. We're going to do this tonight and then tomorrow morning I can go to Target, pick up the bins for the closet and call this project done. This is the mess under my sink. We got this nice little stackable organizer with drawer. Um, you know, I obviously can't stack probably another thing, but I think it'll fit right there. These little guys fit perfectly and they're really flexible. I did it. Here is our reveal. It is so much better in my mind. Things actually have a place, which I love. This is my little extra drawer. So all of my extras go in here, which I love. And then I kind of resorted out all of this, got rid of all of my disgustingly old nail polishes. And I put in all of my lovely Nails Ink nail polishes. These are my favorite. I got face masks and samples. And then down here we have more band-aids all organized, some Welly products, some more extras. Got extra makeup bags and then other products that I use for my hair. All my hair tools in there. I'm so excited. It is so much better. I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow when I get my bins and then I can finally give you the official closet reveal. It just feels good to start the new year organized and tackling the stuff that you avoid most. It is the next day. We are here at Target. I actually checked before I left to make sure that the Target that I thought I was going to had the bins, but on the app it said that it didn't. So then I went to the next closest Target which had the bins or says it does. I'm here to return the old stuff that I didn't use and hopefully they have them. I'm literally like, fingers crossed, please have these bins. They only have the big one. You're kidding me. This is the size that I need, but it's not the right color. I knew that was gonna happen. Now I have to decide if I wanna sacrifice the color matching. If I find the oatmeal ones later on, I can always replace them. We're doing it. The closet is officially complete. I just made it home, put my bins in there. So now it is time for our reveal. Ta da! It is so clean, so organized, went through everything. I made sure everything was folded properly. We've got the bins going on. I showed you guys mostly what's inside all of them. I guess I probably forgot to show you, but I did shorts in here and different sweatpants in there. We have the shoes are all lined up. We have so much space now on the shelf underneath all of my clothes. I actually ended up putting those two pairs of boots right here. I know they're back there and I don't wear them all the time. So it's perfect because they're hidden, but they're not like laying in the corner on the floor anymore. All of the clothing is now color coordinated. Finally, I've got more space for my sweatshirts on the top. One day, maybe I'll get the oatmeal version of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And today's question of the day is going to be, what is on your organizational bucket list? Subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications because I post every single week. I hope this video inspired you guys. Get organized. I mean, you know I ain't lying, cause I hate